We all know that when it comes to urban living, sometimes you have to sacrifice space for location. And this condo was no different. When I first came to meet my clients in this space, it was completely empty. They had one couch that they asked me to work with and that was it. So they also had a very long wish list. They wanted dining incorporated into this very skinny space, lounging incorporated, and they also wanted a whole living room feel. That was a challenge, but it was my job to make it work for them. When coming up with the design, my client had a number of inspirations. One was a kind of a New York feel, and the other was a Paris feel. So what we did is kind of mold those two ideas together to get this really glamorous, curated, well-traveled room. When you're dealing with a small space and a long and narrow small space, I think the biggest challenge is to really divide up that room so it feels like you have different living areas. So we added this beautiful marble fireplace and it was centered in the room so it really gave me zones to work with. When you enter a space, you really want to have that wow factor. And what we did to get that is I custom built this beautiful bookshelf that acts as a room divider between the front entrance and the rest of the space. In the front entryway, originally there was a wood floor. So what we did was added this beautiful marble floor. It gives it a real sense of luxe livability and it also ties in the entryway to the fireplace. I really try and get my clients to incorporate their loves into a space. We went through endless photos and really picked their favorites and then we had them custom sized and custom framed and hung and it is gorgeous. This space is very narrow, so it was really important to use furniture that would fit that scale and still give them everything they wanted. Smaller size couch, smaller size occasional chairs, everything works together to give them great comfort in their living space. The dining room was probably the trickiest space that we had to tackle. It's the pass through to the kitchen, so we wanted to make sure that whatever we put in there was going to feel spacious but allow traffic to get by. We ended up finding this beautiful walnut top table from Jonathan Adler. It's a piece of art all on its own and it really makes a statement in that space. I love the dining room chairs. I actually think it looks like the nicest pair of women's heels ever, so it feels very dressy to me. One of the most important things that we did in the space to really open it up was we mirrored the back wall. We really wanted to give it some light, so putting the mirror acts kind of like a window and it also bounces the light around the room. It's really important when you're doing a small space that has multiple living areas to carry the palette throughout the space. We wanted it to feel grounded as well. So we have the black couch that's at the front of the room in the living room. We have these gorgeous antique Chinese urns that kind of flank the fireplace. And then we have the dark oversized art that's in the dining room. It really lets your eye travel. Nothing feels jarring and it just gives you that tranquil, ah. So I was very thrilled at the end of the day because we got everything that was on my homeowner's wish list in this space. So I guess the moral of the story is that you don't have to sacrifice to live in your urban center. You can have it all.